Hey everybody, how's it going today guys and gals? Today we're going to be taking a look at Scum. Scum is a open world multiverse survival game that was just recently released August 29th of this year. It was published by developer, Devolver Digital and developed by Game Pirates and Crow Team. And it's still being developed because it's in an early access state on Steam. Now Scum is a game where you are a prisoner and pitted against other prisoners pretty much you're playing a video game version of the movie Condemned. You really are. You're playing Condemned. I see. Well, where are you from back in the States then, huh? Alaska. Alaska? Whereabouts? About 80 miles north of Anchorage. A little fishing town. You probably heard of it. It's called Fuck Your Mama. <laughs> to, to an extent. That, <laughs> that's the closest thing I can relate it to. Now, Scum is an alpha stage, and it still is. And it seemed to have run better than a lot of games in that same genre that's even been out a few months to a couple of years. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have its problems. Hey everybody, how's it going today, guys and gals? Today we're going to be taking a look at Scum. Scum is a open world multiverse survival game that was just recently released August 29th of this year. It was published by developer, Devolver Digital and developed by Game Pirates and Cr Hey everybody, how's it going today, guys and gals? Today we're going to be taking a look at Scum. Scum is a open world multiverse survival game that was just recently released August 29th of this year. It was published by developer, Devolver Digital and developed by Game Pirates and Crow Team. And it's still being developed because it's in an early access state on Steam. Now, Scum is a game where you are a prisoner and pitted against other prisoners. Pretty much, you're playing a video game version of the movie Condemned. You really are. You're playing Condemned. I see. Well, where are you from back in the States then, huh? Alaska. Alaska? Whereabouts? About 80 miles north of Anchorage. A little fishing town, you've probably heard of it. It's called Fuck Your Mama. <laughs> to, to an extent. That, <laughs> that's the closest thing I can relate it to. Now, Scum is an alpha stage, and it still is. And it seemed to have run better than a lot of games in that same genre that's even been out a few months to a couple of years. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have its problems. Be alone. Oh fuck! Um. What the fuck is going on? A lag. Ah. Ah. Fucking seriously. Fuck you, lag. Lag is kicking my ass. Oh, God. Ah. And at some points, it almost make it unplayable. And even now, when I just recently jumped on over today in a little bit, uh, about a couple weeks ago, even after some more recent updates, as soon as I jumped on and started moving, even, and then, yes, I was at the airfield and all. As soon as I started moving, I started seeing drop, and a FPS drop, and a FPS drop, and I wasn't even streaming. That's the thing. I wasn't streaming. I wasn't recording. I was just checking out and see if anything was like testing, and it was more, it seemed like more drop, a FPS drop, and lag than there was before some of the more recent updates. And that tells me that they need to start focusing more on performance rather than adding new things to the game. I understand people want new things to the game. People want cars and vehicles and guns and all that. But fix the performance problems first. Make that your main focus for a game. No matter what, when you add stuff, you're going to have to... But if you make that part as best you can at the period of time you're at in development... When you add that new stuff, 
it wouldn't be that difficult to fix those performance issues that do come up. Now, also another issue is as much as I love the mechs and do enjoy them, just the fact that you don't even have to have to have direct line of sight. They do not have direct have to have direct line of sight with you. You don't have to see them. None of that. They, in fact, they can see you pretty much like it's through a tree and start shooting at you is a freaking problem. To be... Oh, fuck. Bullshit! Bullshit! How the fuck did you see me? See, that's bull crap. What? Okay, that is a big issue there and something that does need to be worked on and fixed. I don't want them to get rid of the mechs or anything, but at the same time, it's something they do need to fix and work on if they want to keep that within the game, as well as they need to make the game feel more of a survival style. It doesn't, make, it doesn't seem like you when you die or anything, it's that big of a deal, such as in... In day Z or something like that, you grind hours upon hours upon hours just to get some of the most simplest gear. And as soon as you die, it's just, well, that was a waste of fucking time. Because there you are, you're dead. And you'd have to go right back to it again and spend another few, two, three, four hours sometimes just to get the gear you had before, maybe even better. And scum... You can walk into a town and find a gun, find a, a melee weapon, some food, something to drink, and all that kind of stuff in one town. And sometimes. In span of 10, 15, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Or you can just run right across the um, map. get past, If you can get past the mechs, get into the airfield, or get into one of the bunkers, and you're set. You're pretty much set. And the fact that you can pretty much almost choose where you spawn, depending on how many fame points you have, you can almost spawn right back on your body again at some points and gather all your gear again, and you're fine. That kind of takes a lot of survival aspect out of it, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed this game. I'm not playing it because I'd rather play as friends. Sorry to say, not too many of my friends do play this game. But that, if you're going to label it a survival game, if you're going to label something as a survival game, then you need to put more, like, make it feel more of a survival. Yes, we have the metabolism feature, which I think is a really good idea. Broken down everything you need to eat, all that. The fact that your body can slowly change depending on how much you eat, how much you run, how much you exercise. A big fat character can come really skinny if you're running and eating the right stuff or not eating at all. A skinny guy become real buff or fat themselves if they're eating too much and stuff like that. And your stats can change depending on that as well. Your stamina, your, your, your damage. The bigger the guy you are, even fat or muscular, the harder you hit if you use your fist or melee. From what I understand, when I'm looking through all, when I look through all the stats of what they had available and what they have available at this time. And those are some great aspects in all in survival style. And that does add a good element of survival. But when you're playing it as a, almost like a Hunger Games aspect with condemned mechs, where you are trying to search for different items and different things to kill people with to survive and just fight against pretty much the company, which is in this game Tech One, 
and surviving and showing you are the best, you kind of, in my opinion, missed the mark. You've got to make this game seem more of a survival aspect. And then you have events. Now, I don't have any clips or anything for the events because I could never get into one. As well as a few people asked if I could use them. They said no, which is all right. Events are pretty much a battle royale FPS style game within scum. A very lag, from what I've seen, a very laggy, slow moving, just style game where you can just the gear you get. It's the same thing you can get in the actual base survival game built into it that hardly nobody uses, but yet you're going to split some of your team and help get some of them to work on the event side, make that better, but also work on survival side of scum and have two different teams working on two different projects within the same game where one project hardly nobody uses. Think about that. Do you need the events, at least right now? I can maybe see something like that being added on later down the road or be fo focused when you get the survival aspect of scum to where you want it or to a good point. Like it's in beta or getting close to release or something like that and you start working on the event side again and making that better and better and better. Focus on one aspect and make that part of the game where it needs to be. And then you can assure that your game's probably going to be successful, at least to a good extent. It already is, in all honesty. It it was, it is. It was one of the top games for at least two, three, four weeks in a streaming and YouTube area that has been dominated by Battle Royale games for the longest time. But if you keep breaking your team up into two different areas, and one focusing on events of Battle Royale style event thing that's within your game and another focus on your survival. Neither one is going to do well. Neither one is going to grow. Focus on one side or the other. Make your game one thing or another. Don't try and mesh those two. Because in the long run, it's not going to work. It's just not. And really, that's, I can't say the game the game's bad, because I did enjoy it. I enjoyed what I played. Again, I don't play it that much because it's something I'd rather play with other people. I'd rather play with friends and stuff like that. But I can't say I didn't enjoy the game, but I can't say it's a good game either at the same time. Because of, again, the mechs being really overpowered, being able to see you very easily and kill you within a few shots. I can understand the fact of them killing you quickly because you're a giant freaking mech. But the fact that you basically can't hide from them at some points is a bit ridiculous. If they, in my opinion, sensor wise, I can understand they go red. But in my opinion, if they don't have direct line of sight to you, then maybe they should be able to go, oh, I've lost them. Turn and start walking away. Now, if the guy gets up, if you get up, jump up and run and the mic's so pretty close, I can understand. Nope, turn around and instantly see you. Okay, because sensor wise, if you have a machine like that, guess what? They're probably going to have a pretty big sensor range, even if they're not looking directly at you. But direct line of sight should be something that should be used. As well, the fact that the lag, even now, the fact of how many updates they've had and everything, I shouldn't be jumping into the game on parts where I wasn't even lagging before, oh, so I see you start lagging. That, that's a problem. That's something that needs to be worked on and fixed. And, then, and this is a time I'm jumping in. I'm not streaming. I'm not putting any extra stress on my computer. But the other times I was, and the game ran majority of the time better than during streaming and doing all that with extra stress, Rather than just now playing the game, just jumping on and going for it. There's a bit of an issue there. And this is with more updates later down the road. 
that's a bit of an issue. All in all, again, I can't say um, I'd recommend the game. I can't say it's a good game. I can't say it's a bad game. Yes, it's still early access, and a lot of people are going to make that argument. But the fact the team is focused on two different things, separating it, and also focusing on making more updates to add things to the game rather than fixing the performance and FPS drop issues, that's a problem. I I would think you'd focus on one thing and try and fix that problem. Anyways, this uh, review is a little bit longer than I expected it to be. But anyways, until next time, I'll see all the people on the next stream or video. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.